the computers give the order to light the two boosters, which is the point of no return. And we will be off. So watch for all that. Enjoy the liftoff. We'll be back à shortly after. Vidéo, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain, décollage. Well, much, much vi better visibility than we dared hope for just uh, maybe even an hour ago. It's been uh, raining and overcast most of the day, but some fine, fine shots at liftoff of Arian roaring off the pad into the gray, trailing the gold plumes as she makes her way up into the sky over French Guiana. She took off right on time at 17.38 local time. These fine shots are always, always very impressive. 775 tons at liftoff as Ariane leaves the ground. Most of that is fuel, as you will see. She'll beginning, she'll be start to shed that. The DDO is saying that everything is fine on board. Right now, she's burning five tons of fuel per second, 2.5 tons in each booster burning. Uh, that represents the major part of the boost. That's uh, 90% of the acceleration on the power at liftoff. The core stage burning another 300 kilos kilos per second. Roughly add up that uh, all together, it's roughly the equivalent to a dozen Airbuses. Ariane following now the program in the onboard computer, which has been uh, installed, giving all the orders, including stage separations, which we'll begin to see just very shortly. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn. So you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic, where she'll separate the two passengers over Africa. Right now, the first pay phase, the single core stage engine, the co it's called Vulcan, and the two boosters, and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will burn uh, for just over two minutes uh, each, and in a few seconds, you should hear the DDO call out their separation, des deux their separation, and that comes right on time, at about 68 kilometers up. This is what it looks like. There's another uh, booster out of the camera range, but the two of them separated, delivering. Uh, delivering, done, uh, done their job. They fall uh, 500 kilometers away from shore in a protected area. French Guiana chosen partially for its Les large opening on the, on the water, uh, low risk for the nearby population. We're in the second flight phase now, the boosters having done their job. The, f the uh, core engine burning alone, it'll burn for about uh, nine minutes. The fairing separation is coming up next. And the DDO will be calling out that one. And there it is, at 107, roughly, kilometers. The fairing is in two halves. The other half is out of camera range on the other side. Blown away is the term, because they're separated by two pyrotechnic cords. One is horizontal and one is vertical. The fairing is dropped now because it's done its job. What it does is protect the passengers from the vibrations and friction in the Earth's atmosphere. And uh, above 100 kilometers, we don't uh, need it anymore, so we can get rid of the dead weight. It's a ton or two. On the bottom left of your screen, the bottom two lines, you see kilometers. That's our altitude, 132. And the speed below that, kilometers That's per second. Normal. We're approaching two and a half kilometers per second. The speed we need to inject satellites, roughly nine kilometers per second, so keep your eyes on that. Back with more of the mission, don't go away, but for right now, the latest news from Ariane Space. On April 22nd, Ariane successfully lifted two new 